This is the debate hall at Lynn University for the third and final presidential debate. University officials knew that seating here was limited, so they took it next door to a huge soccer field where they conducted a watch party. We are at Lynn University on the soccer pitch at the viewing party for the third and final presidential debate. This is the epicenter of the political world in the United States of America right now. So everybody who's reporting on news related to the presidential race is here. The candidates are here from both camps. Their affiliates and surrogates are here as well. So if you want to uh, see what's going on and hear what's going on, there's no better place to be than right here on Lynn University's campus. The energy's been electric. It's been amazing. There's just more and more people coming in, more and more trucks, more and more fences being put up, more and more tents. It's just amazing to be part of a really exciting time for Boca. This is just a way for everybody to come here and watch the debate together and have a good time because not everyone can get inside to see it. For those attending the Red, White and View party, there was no shortage of pre-debate activities to enjoy. The university provided live music, games, a bar, and a variety of food trucks. Attendees were even able to take a picture with a cardboard cutout of the candidates. I couldn't wait for this day to come because it, it, it's a happening. It's a true happening. And believe me, my friends are all very envious of me. They're all living vicariously through me. It's great to have the presidential debate here because I think it's definitely like publicizing the school more. I think it's bringing a, a better light to it. It's a moment we've been waiting for here at Lynn, and uh, we uh, wanted a time to tell our story about what this little special place is about, and uh, we're thrilled that we're able to host what uh, appears to be the Super Bowl of politics, particularly in this season. Tonight's debate's theme is foreign politics, and I don't think, I don't, I think they couldn't have picked a better place than Lynn University, where almost everyone you speak to here is, comes from a different country, different culture, and different religion. So how essential are the debates to the election process? Do forums like this allow voters to hear what the candidates have to say in a way they couldn't from other media? And do these debates actually help them make a decision? The debates are helpful for people to understand exactly what's going on in politics and views of candidates because it's really the one opportunity that people get to see both candidates side by side. And you can really pick up some of the distinctions and differences between each of those candidates and it helps those folks out there who are undecided to make that determination on who better represents their views and who they think is going to be a better president of the United States. I think debates uh, bring to the forefront a lot of issues that people are concerned about. And I think uh, it's important to understand those issues and it's important to vote. Taking part in election is the most basic right that voting Americans can do. And if you have problems with what's going on in your country, if you don't like the direction it's going or you do like the direction it's going, then you need to make your voice heard. I think it's really important to engage with people of different views. So this viewing party is not only fun, but it's a way to open your minds to different things. The 2012 election year had a special significance for the students here at Lynn University as they saw history unfold before their very eyes on their own campus. For Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Spiro Canton here on the campus of Lynn University in Boca Raton. Thank you for joining us.